Hello all, and welcome to another video, and in this video I want to go into detail about why Dead or Alive the 6th of May not get her another game, and may end up like all the other deceased game, that we knew and loved. Now I know the last DLC came out at the end of last month, and after some time away to ponder, I think it's for the best to talk from the heart, and explain that Dead or Alive was dead from launch, and both Team Ninja and Koei Temko are at fault at this, I mean I have backed this game for at least a year now, and after all of the shit we got, to be honest I should have seen this coming from launch, I mean why, have a bunch of overpriced DLC, to help promote your game, why have a character set under lock and key from before launch, just to nerf that character the moment it come out as DLC, now that updates and DLC have been discontinued, I've been thinking and come to the realization that overall, this game is a massive cash cow, so that people can buy more DLC, because let's face it, Dead or Alive 6 wasn't gonna be big from realis. I mean they rushed the game, and it was so obvious that they added DLC to their own story mode, which still felt incomplete at this point, and to top it off, there was no lobby mode until after the game came, which by this point has been already dead. Now dead or alive videos will come back around next week DOA ranked videos will continue as I still enjoyed playing this disappointment anyways thanks for listening.